When building a long-term successful portfolio, whether you are just starting out your investing journey or you have been investing for years, the key is to have a firm foundation. You want your portfolio to be able to have something safe to lean on when things get volatile. And that's where ETFs or exchange traded funds come in. ETFs can be thought of as a basket of stocks. There are thousands of ETF options out there and they come in all shapes and sizes. You have broad-based ETFs that cover an entire market segment or the entire stock market in general. You also have sector-focused ETFs, market cap-weighted ETFs, and also specific types of stocks like dividend ETFs. And the list goes on, but in today's video, we are going to look at my top five ETFs for 2023. And with that being said, let's get started. Hey everyone, Mark here, back for another video. And as always, everything discussed in this video is for educational and informational purposes only. And before we jump into the ETFs, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Aura. With how much is consumed online these days, you want to take comfort knowing your data and personal information is safe and protected. Aura is a one-stop shop as they provide credit monitoring, account tracking, antivirus software, password manager, VPN, and other services. There are many services out there where you can get updated credit scores or other companies that offer antivirus software. But how many places can you find all of this together in one comprehensive place? The FBI reported a 64% increase in financial loss due to digital crime. Do not take this lightly. Cyber criminals are trying everything these days to get their hands on your data. Let Aura help protect you. Right now, Aura is running a very special promotion. And if you go to aura.com forward slash mark, you can try out these services risk-free for 14 days. I will leave a link down in the description below. With that being said, let's take a look at five ETFs for 2023. ETF number one should come as no surprise, as that is the Schwab U.S. Dividend ETF, stock ticker SCHD. The Schwab U.S. Dividend ETF is by far my favorite dividend-focused ETF and really one of my favorite ETFs overall. They offer a mix of growth potential, a solid dividend yield, and strong dividend growth. Let's first take a look at the makeup of SCHD. The fund is managed by Charles Schwab. It seeks to track the performance of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index. It has an expense ratio of 0.06%, meaning it is a very low-cost ETF. They have $44 billion of assets under management, a dividend yield of 3.4%, and on-the-year shares of SCHD have fallen 6%. Next, let's see how the fund is built. Looking here, you can see the sector breakdown for SCHD. The top three sectors include financials, industrials, and technology. But as you can see, they are pretty well diversified across all sectors. Next, let's take a look at the top holdings, beginning with one of my top dividend stocks for 2023. And if you have not yet seen that video, I will also leave a link to that down in the description below. The first position is Broadcom, stock ticker AVGO, followed by Verizon Communications, Merck, Pfizer, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, the Home Depot, Lockheed Martin, Cisco, and IBM. The top 10 holdings account for 40% of the entire fund, and the fund has 103 total positions in it. The second ETF on our list for 2023 is the Consumer Staples Select Spider ETF, stock ticker XLP. Given that we are headed towards a likely recession in 2023, assuming that we are not already in one, one sector that tends to perform quite well in these times is consumer staples. They are a very defensive sector. Many of these companies that you will find in this fund or in this sector alone are companies that sell items that are of need, regardless of the economic backdrop. Consumer discretionary is an area that people will pull back when finances get tough or the economy starts to falter, but not consumer staples. With that being said, let's take a look at the makeup of XLP. XLP was launched by State Street Global Advisors. The fund seeks to track the performance of the consumer staples select sector index and the S&P 500. It has an expense ratio of 0.10%. Assets under management of 17 billion, and they have a dividend yield of 2.5%. On the year, XLP is down only 2.5%. 
The sector breakdown is pretty simple in the fact that the fund only invests in stocks within the consumer staple sector. You can see a small 1% crossover with a healthcare stock. Next, let's take a look at top holdings, which include the likes of Procter & Gamble, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, Costco, Mondelez, Philip Morris, Walmart, Altria, Colgate, and Estee Lauder. These top 10 holdings account for 69% of the entire fund, and overall, the fund has 34 total holdings. The third ETF for 2023 is the Healthcare Select Spider ETF, stock ticker XLV. Healthcare happens to be another sector that happens to perform quite well in periods of slower economic growth or in recessionary times. We have seen this year alone as the stock market has faltered, there's been a lot of healthcare stocks that investors have moved into their portfolios. And I expect the healthcare sector to continue to be a safe haven in 2023. After all, regardless, if you need medical supplies or medical attention, it doesn't really matter what the economic backdrop is. The Healthcare Select Spider ETF is another ETF that was launched and managed by State Street Global Advisors. The fund seeks to track the performance of the Healthcare Select Sector Index. The fund has an expense ratio of 0.10%, assets under management of $42 billion, a dividend yield of 1.5%, and a year-to-date performance of minus 2%. The sector breakdown is also very simple in the fact that the fund only invests in stocks within the healthcare sector. Next, let's take a look at the top holdings, which include United Group, Johnson & Johnson, AbbVie, Eli Lilly, Pfizer, Merck, Thermo Fisher Scientific, Abbott Labs, Danaher, and Bristol Myers Squibb. These top 10 holdings make up 56% of the fund, and the fund overall has 64 total holdings. The fourth ETF for 2023 on our list is the iShares High Dividend ETF, stock ticker HDV. This ETF, similar to that of SCHD, is a very diversified ETF. They don't focus on specific sectors. Instead, they focus on high-yielding dividend stocks. HDV was launched by BlackRock, and the fund seeks to track the performance of the Morningstar Dividend Yield Focus Index. They have an expense ratio of 0.08%, assets under management of $13 billion, a high dividend yield of 3.6%, and on the year, HDV is actually up 3%. As mentioned, the fund is well diversified among various sectors, with the top sectors being energy, healthcare, technology, and consumer defensive or consumer staples. The top holdings include ExxonMobil, Verizon Communications, Chevron, AbbVie, Pfizer, Philip Morris, Merck, Broadcom, Coca-Cola, and Cisco. These top 10 holdings make up 53% of the entire fund, and HDV has 81 total holdings in their fund. The fifth and final ETF on our list is the iShares 20-Year Treasury Bond ETF, stock ticker TLT. TLT is much different than the first four ETFs that we looked at today, which is why I saved it for last. TLT focuses on government U.S. Treasury bonds, more focusing on its investments in fixed income. Bonds just had their worst performance on record. Nothing was working in 2022. Whether you invested in stocks or bonds, most investment portfolios were in the red in 2022. But with rates seemingly having peaked, now might be a great time to invest in an ETF like TLT. Remember, with bonds, there is an inverse relationship between the bond price and the yield. As the bonds go down and are sold off, yields go up. Typically, when we get into a period of slower economic growth or periods of recession, investors will more gear towards and focus on safety, which is U.S. Treasury bonds. Given that, that we are headed towards a recession, TLT could be another place for investors to start looking at again. Back in 2008, when we went through the Great Recession, shares of TLT delivered a 34% total return, compared to the S&P 500 dropping 37% during the year. Looking closer here at TLT, you can see they have an expense ratio of 0.15%, assets under management of $27 billion, a yield of 2.7%, and on the year, this fund is down 32%. The sector breakdown is pretty simple, showing that the ETF invests only in government bonds. And if we move to the top holdings, you can see that they invest in various U.S. Treasury bonds with different yields. So there we have it, five solid ETFs for you to consider for 2023. You have dividend-focused ETFs, 
you also have consumer staples or healthcare related, both sectors that tend to perform well in a recession. And if you think that yields have peaked, TLT is also a great option to get involved in an ETF that invests more into fixed income. Let me know down in the comments section below which of these ETFs you believe will perform the best in 2023. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you could, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Take care.